So the next tune we're going to be doing, Mapping Out, is an old jazz tune from New Orleans called The Tiger Rag. Now this song didn't have lyrics to it, so we're going to be using our letters like we did in the Form 2.0 assignment you guys have already hopefully done by now. So with this, we're going to be thinking of A, B, C, and even going on to D's and E's and whatever as new sections of the song come up. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of give a little bit of heads up and just let you know, I'm thinking of this song in a fast four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or a two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Either way, there's gonna, it's gonna come out, the math and the time frame is gonna come out right. So that being the case, um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of break down, knowing that all, we've listened to this, hopefully by now, um, I want you to do the same thing, pause this, once I get here and share in a second, listen to it a couple times, I think it's like two and a half minutes long. And while you're doing that, by the time you come back, I'm gonna actually have a lot of this already kind of done. So I want you to listen to it, and I get the phrases down, and we come right back, all right? So ready, pause me. Okay, so hopefully by now you've, you've unpaused, you've checked out the, uh, the, the video twice already. I'm gonna go over there and push play. And what I've already done here, I've already set up a bunch of eight measure phrases, because as I mentioned already, I'm feeling this as one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. But as we go through here, we're gonna add some letters to this, um, to this diagram that I've gotten up here so far, and also some different descriptions, like A, B, some solo things happen. Um, as much as description as we can get into this. So, same concept, someone comes up to you and says, I'm gonna give your band an extra $300 a piece if you guys can play this song and pretty much get it all together. As long as everyone knows 80 to 90% of the song, this will help kind of get everyone on the same page. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play over here. We're gonna go through and check out some of these. This will be also due, as well as the ones you'll be doing on your own. So here comes the Tiger Rag. One more time for you. Four, five, six, and calling this A. A, repeated. This is different. This is B. Five, six, seven, eight. Back to an A section. I'm going to go fast on this one. Eight. Just one time. This is new. This is C. Seven, eight. One. Let's just go over that much so far, shall we? A lot going on. A section. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Repeat. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. You can hear something different. Five, six, seven, eight. A. One, three, four, seven, eight. Something different. One, six, seven, eight. I think this may actually be 16. I think we should call that 16. Let's try it. Eight, 
16. And then we have an eight measure section, right? And now we're in this section. Where we all recognize. Because this whole, now we have this melody that we all recognize. So I think this is kind of really the bulk of this song. So if we keep all this section together and call it one big section, it's definitely bigger than eight, yeah? And then we get into solos, which you can kind of call, I think they're still soloing over the E section letter. So we're gonna call E, and then we're gonna say E solos. But we need to find out how long that E section is. I'm going to go pause it. Uh, not far enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we know that E section is 32 measures long. It's actually the whole, maybe the really main part of the tune. So now we have solos over at section E, which is number 32. We gotta hang out here and enjoy the song for a second. There's a couple stop times and breaks that happen in the solo, which if you want to notate, that happens every 14 measures and then the two measure stop, feel free to notate those things as well. Also, you may want to notate that there's a clarinet solo going on. Now what's happening? Everyone's joined together, and we do the melody one more time. In fact, let's call this. This is the melody. The solo, we we'll say a clarinet. And then our last kind of E section. We do the melody. Ah, no. And the melody one more time, and that's the end of the song. So we can kind of say this, let me go stop this before the next song um, pops up. But we can say this arrangement, this version of Tiger Rag, is pretty straightforward for the most part. You know, we have the, an A section repeated, a B section, hold on, that was just happen. All right, so then we have the A section come back in, and as we've learned in our other PowerPoint presentation, a, A, B, A, or the rondo form, which the A section is repeated back around. So this song actually starts off with a rondo, an A, A, B, A formula, which is once we kind of learned is one of the more, most popular song forms as we get there. Then we have another C section, a little C section, which we can kind of call an interlude. But it happens, I mean, if we really want to add C and D together, we can kind of call like an interlude and maybe like a, a pre-melody or a setup of some sort of, a lot of this stuff just kind of comes up, and if you can think of a good way to call this, officially in the Dixieland version, we have a section called the trio. This would actually be called the dog fight, but there's a lot of different ways that you can come up with this just to get the point across of what's happening. So then we have um, the melody, which is letter E, which is 32 measures long. Then we have a repeated of the E section, which is a clarinet solo. And then finally we end off with that melody once again, at the E section. So this is how we will kind of map out this tune. And hopefully yours will look something like this. Now on your own, you'll be doing three more songs. One of them is My Girl. One of them is um, the song Chandelier by the singer Sia. And let me make a real quick comment about that. Um, for that one, you're gonna have to describe and figure out which, what's a pre-chorus, what's a verse, and what's a, what's a, a chorus. Because a lot of those in that song kind of get 
they get used a lot. So make sure you're always calling the same thing the same thing. And um, in another song by Frank Zappa, which is kind of a long extended piece, that one's no vocals, so it's called Peaches and Regalia. It's a really cool song if you've never heard it before. Um, if you have, great. If you haven't, welcome to the world of Frank Zappa. So um, enjoy. Hopefully everyone is staying safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Stay safe out there, and um, we'll see you in the fall.